on sworn personnel within the former community. If you wish to file a complaint with our office regarding the conduct and or the trustee's support, please leave a voice message providing a name, contact information, and a brief description of your complaint. Once that information is received, someone from our office will contact you as soon as possible to discuss the information provided. Please note, no person can normally file a complaint with this review officer. In the performance of the officer's duty, is the person known that that allegation is false? Making a false allegation of an officer misconduct under the Ohio Revised Code, Section 2921.15, is a first degree misdemeanor, punishable by a maximum penalty of 180 days in jail and or $1,000. Record your message at the time. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hello, my name is Robert Milligan. My phone number is 614-506-1924. There's some uh, developments in the case that is still open from this summer involving imposters of the Secret Service that is extremely important and that I would like to add. I've been in touch with Nate um, since July when you received the information from Internal Affairs. Um, one development that has happened that seems unrelated but I think is connected is um, Arvid Ashby, my next door neighbor, had linked his iPhone to my Apple ID and to my Google account. While on my Apple ID, which I removed once, but then it appeared back on as a device. It was using my telephone number and FaceTime. I have had... Or hang up to play it. Three, to re-record it. Four, to add to it. Five, to discard it. Six. Say it again. To send this message, press pound or hang up to play it. Three, to re-record it. Four, to add to it. Five, to discard it. Six. Record your message at the time. In addition, and this is extremely important, the police call my evidence of a crime, which is a 911 transcript of the crime being redone by Patty Ryan. A delusional belief on net care documents. That is extremely problematic because there is nothing in my beliefs that is incorrect. And the police have made it known to a lot of people. In fact, my friend Brian Endicott received a phone call from an officer to talk about me. I don't know what you're doing, but I know what I'm doing. And this issue needs to be resolved. Patty Ryan and I spoke on Halloween. I recorded the message, or the conversation. And it is on YouTube. In that conversation, she talks about the imposters. So, in 2019, she calls them the Secret Service. And now, she calls them imposters. I told her, Patty, 
The police do not believe me. You need to tell them the truth. She has not. For two months, I have told her or asked her, have you called the police? She said no. Then, when I stopped her in her driveway, because she passed a trespassing notice against me so that she could avoid talking to me. She told me she contacted the police weeks ago with the truth. I'm tired of being yanked the fuck around. You're dragging your feet on the most important case of this century, and that is not grandiose thinking. You are I would appreciate some contact from you this morning because I'll tell you what is going on. The police on a body cam of an officer that I have a video of on YouTube spoke of planning. You are approaching the maximum length for a recording. Finish your recording after the tone. Record your message at the tone, then press pound. Of planning a longer hospitalization. Um, I would appreciate my life not being fucked up. I've got the entire crime of what's happened on Midgard Road. Sent. So we'll see what happens because Arvid's very desperate. He's in a lot of trouble. And he's willing to do just about anything. And the technology connection has a lot of people in his corner. Because everybody thinks that this technology is the, the bomb. Um, it might be. So you're going to do a whole bunch of illegal things with it? <laughs> oh my god! It's similar to what the government does with their employees. They come in fine. Law-abiding citizens wanting to do the right thing. And then they end up breaking the most basic constitutional rights of the citizen. <laughs> Something's got to change. Something's got to change. I sent Frank Scofani an email as well, which he will receive this morning, which isn't completed, but I wanted to get it sent off on the chance that Dum Dum Ashby decides to pull the trigger on the loaded gun and try to hospitalize me.
because it'll document when the report was generated. One of my fears has always been, because RNM is being used, is that when I get too close, that's when a trigger will be pulled to silence me. Um, so by doing things uh, that are key to getting this resolved, um, I'm relying on chronological order. The police are convinced that the real government visited Patty. It is not true. So that means there must be somebody who does work for the government that is involved. And because Patty and Arvid's stories match so closely, that means that Arvid <laughs> works for the government? No. No way. <laughs> no way. They've got better taste than that. I am done being set up, Mr. Ashby. Why would my Apple ID with your iPhone be using my number on FaceTime? Why? Do you just flash some of the technology over your face? <clears throat> I don't know. But what I do know is that I am telling the truth. And the police are avoiding it. On purpose. So the Department of Inspector General would be wise to follow through. Quickly. And I haven't telegraphed to the police yet about Arvid doing that two days ago. We'll see what happens today. Gotta have faith. Because in this situation, <laughs> that's all I've got is God. The entire world is against The entire 
world is discriminating against me and my rights. Maybe this is why a civil rights case involving the disease of addiction has never gone anywhere in 30 years. Well, that drought streak is going to end. Because this case is wet. And it's a slow moving front with a lot of moisture. Because I documented everything. Why would I spend all my time documenting things if there was no reason to do it? So, by sending an email and by making that phone call that you just heard, I'm protecting myself because nobody has my back. If I don't protect myself because even the most dedicated of the pentagram flashers will cave in to peer pressure. This is how the thing we all hate or fear and will hate, the police state, is pretty much inevitable if people don't stand up. I will stand up, but I need people to stand with me. Today is not the day to sit back quietly and let things happen. Today is the day to stand up and I've said this many times. Those of you that are nearest to this whole situation, if you fail me now, it's bye bye I don't want to have anything to do with you. Because you don't have my back. Make your choice. Maybe I'll see some of you in the morning. But probably not. The police have probably spread some sort of scandalous rumor that makes a face-to-face -face visit undesirable. Or not advised. I bet the police have done that. God help me, because the police are preparing a silencing with the federal government's authorization. And the only reason why they would do that 
is because I speak out about remote neural monitoring. So I need support. If you don't believe in RNM, that's fine. Believe me about the crimes that I am trying to get resolved and to get some crooked neighbors to be honest. The longer they stay silent in their guilt, the worse it will be. I guarantee.